I'm not gonna film, but why? Why is that? Uh, anything that is on our property, unfortunately. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Ottawa's Motive. My name is Anise, and I just got to Tesla. I'm returning the S, and I'm getting my Y. Uh, I honestly don't know what to expect, but stay tuned. Here, Tesla. I'm honestly, I honestly got used to this thing. I've had it for, you know, six days, just as long as I had the Y, but you know, it's fine. I prefer to have my Y. All right, guys, check this out. So they have a lot of these vehicles parked outside that are ready to go. And it's super hot. I'm looking at my Tesla app right now and it's showing that it's 117. So I'm going to turn this on just to get it going. I always usually like to turn on the climate uh, control like at least a few minutes before I get into the car because it's always super hot. Let's see how this uh, how this is going to work. I am hoping that everything is fixed, at least the trunk. That's bothering me the most. But we're here right now, test the service. I'm here to pick up my Y. I just, I have a loaner vehicle and I don't know what, what's the process. Okay. Um, your first and last name? Uh, first name, Anis. Last name, Abdul Kareem. Got it. Uh, I'm here to pick up my Model Y. Okay, let me uh, walk you out right now. Okay, cool, yeah, I'm just parked out here in the okay. front. I don't know if... Uh, Got it. Within just a few minutes, it's already at 83 degrees. Okay guys, check this out. Got a VIN that's showing 22,000 vehicle that was made after 20,000 and it seems like there's no issues. I have not seen any panel gaps or any issues in this. It seems to be just aligned here. Everything seems to be real, looking real nice on this Model Y. Any alignment issues? Uh, a little bit right here, nothing too crazy. Nothing at all, that's not even that bad. No alignment issues at all. A little bit of a gap here, nothing too crazy though. Um, this is not bad whatsoever. A little bit of a gap here. Um, oof. We're looking at this here, but yeah, no, you could see that there, the rear bumper. Ah, okay. Uh, nothing too bad here. A little bit still of the gap here. Personal vehicles that are getting uh -huh. picked up today. Uh -huh. So I can't, I can't film any no, of this. No, sir. Sorry about that. Okay. It, I mean, I'm just wondering. I, I'm not gonna film, but why? Why is that? Uh, anything that is on our property, unfortunately, we do have a policy in regards to Tesla that unfortunately uh -huh. we can't have anybody film on okay. our property. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Sorry about that, yeah, sorry. yeah. No, no worries. Of course. Have a good one. Thanks. You too. This is my car. And they didn't fix it! Oh, it's not fixed! Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, within spec BS. I, oh, come on. This is the one thing I just wanted fixed. The one thing. Oh. This is so frustrating. They literally didn't do what I wanted them to fix, but they did fix the wheel. There's a gash on the side of the wheel. I think they just replaced the entire wheel for me. What's bothering the most? This is bothering me the most. Oh, dang it, Tesla. Come on. Oh my goodness. This is so frustrating. So starting with the first one, loud AC went on and leaking from underneath. Yeah. Before we get started, I'm gonna let you know mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be frustrated at you. Mm -hmm. I'm already gonna be. I'm just frustrated at Tesla and the situation, you know, yeah. with the within spec. So when you say within spec and you see, you hear me get frustrated. It's not you. Okay. Just wanted to let you know. <laughs> okay, for sure. Because I already know you're gonna say within spec, and when you say it, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah. But it's okay. And then again, I'm I'm only going based off the repair. Order. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. It's not your fault. So yeah. Don't worry so about it. you know, just briefly what what, yeah, what yeah. we did. Uh, but for the first one, we perform a thermal test, uh, check for abnormal noise, no hardware issues, and air conditioning system is working as designed. Uh -huh. uh -huh. um, condensation is draining from the bright evaporator housing, so it's normal yeah. for the vehicle. Okay. Um, tail lights and charging port not aligned. Um, yeah, no adjustments were made on that end. Um, uneven trim gaps in between. They performed a, a panel adjustment. Which uneven, one? Which one was it? Uneven trim and gaps in between yeah. inside the vehicle seat back bottom trim. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that one day they perform an adjustment. Okay. Um, door gap exposed when latched and sometimes not latching properly. Mm -hmm. Inspected both rear door latch functions, gla flush gap and body fitments. Um, pretty much with inspects, but they were minor adjustments that were made for For, for the doors? Yeah, for the okay. doors. 
uh, plastic trim, performant exterior alignment. Right to the second row seat has a rattle. Test showed the vehicle, but the shop was unable to verify the concern at this time. Okay. Uh, the latching, the, the mechanism of the latches is, is operating normal. Okay. Uh, both flag seals are popping out. Uh, they re secure them. Okay. Uh, curb rash on the front right tire. Yeah. Uh, right front wheel rash was corrected. Right front wheel garnish is not clipped in all the way. So they replaced uh, they replaced the wheel. No, they. Uh, it looks like they reconditioned it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Anyways, so. all right. Okay, so that wasn't even a replacement. From the looks of it, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I can ask Natalie. She she yeah. would know more. Yeah, yeah. No oh. worries. Um, and I believe that's all we did. Okay. <laughs> this is the one thing that bothered me the most, man. One, the lift key. The this like so this this would sometimes it would act up. Uh, the trunk would act up. Mm -hmm. Um, like it'll come up and like kind of like like pop like kind of like spaz out or something you know and then uh, sometimes it like it would come down then go back up like it wouldn't like latch rest it would just like open up again yeah anyways you, but does it cinch does the, does the trunk does the trunk at least cinch when it closes no most of the time it'll close right and it will mm -hmm. but sometimes it'll like spaz out it's weird Interesting. anyways and then I thought um, and I thought in the beginning so right here there was plastic like still like underneath that they didn't even take out from the factory so i didn't i don't know if that was the case if it was like bringing this up or something i don't i don't know what the deal was but yeah man I, this this is the one thing that was bothering me the most to be honest with you I, and i know it's not your fault man i know i know the situation with the was like, I've, I've been making videos about it like on youtube and stuff you know so uh so I, I'm, I'm very well aware of everything going on. Maybe I'll just make another appointment or something. I don't know. Definitely. Just, just bring it up to our attention so we can do a, a, another revision. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No worries. I appreciate that, man. And I appreciate the, it. Of course, the key is inside. Uh, Sitting in there. I'm okay. going to take my stuff For out sure. and then uh, do you want me to just leave the key yeah, inside? Yeah, just leave it there and we'll check it out. Okay. Thank okay. you. <laughs> So that guy was pretty cool, super nice. Um, he understood my frustration. Everybody at Tesla understands frustration, but he was just like, make another, you know, making another service appointment is probably the best option. And then going from there, just to see if they can do any revisions. Uh, the trunk is bothering me the most. Uh, that's the one thing that I do not want to be dealing with. Um, it's just like when I look at it, it just bothers me, you know? And nothing else bothers me. It's just that the trunk, oh, it bothers me. But it's okay. It is what it is. I'm going to get into the car now and drive it around, see how it feels, and make sure everything's good. Uh, and uh, I'll get back to you guys with an update in a bit. I noticed when I opened this up, the seat, I guess there's some kind of testing where they put the seat belts on, sensors test, and all that kind of stuff. It seems like they run everything when it's here. Oh, getting back in. Make sure that they give you uh, the key card back. Yes! 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 Honestly, like, I. I'm definitely frustrated. I'm definitely frustrated with the hatchback, but just being back in my car, having the Y back feels really good. No, seriously, like I, I, I have been wanting to get the Y back. I honestly got so sick of the S and just being back in it right now and just sitting in it, I feel so much better. It was nice being able to have a car, I guess, right? Ooh, restore settings. Nice, thank you. But for the most part, I am really happy that I get to have the Y back. I am going to be making a separate video with some updates on some of the newer Ys that have been coming out. And it seems like nobody's been having any issues. But we'll get into that in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you've not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. Videos coming every week. I appreciate you guys following me on my journey from buying a Y till now. Appreciate you all who have been watching from the start. Thank you for watching these videos. It means a lot to me. Till the next video. Thank you.